information for transformation. I'm still going to call on our sister Linda for the next question. So sister Linda, we hear these days that you have died. Silence, please. I'm not finished. We hear these days that you have died, or you have gone mad, or you have gone to make confession to the general overseer of the Lord's chosen that your revelation is all a lie. What is the truth about this? Praise the Lord. Number one truth. Am I there? Thank you, Jesus. These things that the Lord choosing and other people are saying, these are big lie and propaganda. Hallelujah. I just want you to know that whatever thing they are saying, I've never in my life, since the Lord used me and to spread the what is going on in the world, in the churches, I've never seen Mocha life. I only see him in a vision and in this poster. And he too, I don't know if he has seen me naturally, but through the CD, hallelujah. These are one of the signs that Jesus is showing you people now that these preachers that they say they are preaching the gospel, these are the signs of not only somebody will come and have on, you will know that they are agents of darkness, but a old pastor like this, running a big crowd and a big church like this, be standing on top of the pulpit and they lying to people that I'm dead, I came to obey him. So just think what he has been telling you before. These are all lies. So I want you to know that. That's why you see Jesus is sending message that this church, they are out of the way. Because he has been fooling you with lies. That this and this and this. All the cassettes he has been saying, I'm from the marine kingdom. I'm a serpent. I'm a this. I'm a that. I'm declaring it here today that I've never ever and I will never because Jesus will not change. He give them one more grace. He said go and tell them that if they change, I will give them one more grace. If the Lord can change, that time I will go and meet Mocha and tell him that I'm sorry. But as long as the Lord will not change, I will not go and meet him because it's not by my power. It's by the Lord's doing. He's the one that sent me, not by myself. So I will not go and say sorry to Mocha. What I said, I'm declaring it again, is true. Mocha is not serving the living God. The God of choosing is not Jesus. I'm declaring it again and I'm not saying sorry for anything. And I pray that all these people that are in his church, I pray that God will open their eyes to see. I'm giving you people scripture. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 33. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 10. Hallelujah. We'll go over again. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 17. I start again. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 33. Proverbs chapter 10, verse Proverbs chapter 4, verse 10. Proverbs chapter 8, 33. And to Mocha and other pastors and other people that are talking things that is not right. I'm giving you a scripture, Matthew 12, 36. And 37, mind of what you are saying, because your word we use, God will use it to judge you one day. I thank you all. Amen. Amen. So I come back to Sister Rose to the question for her. Sister Rose actually. You spoke in your book concerning some prominent Nigerian preachers on what God wants them to do. Did you receive any reaction or response from them? Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. I did not receive any reply or reaction from them. Okay, I have this as a follow-up question. Why did you make it public since it was an individual message for them? Well, still to God be the glory. Before I publish it, I sent to them. And after that, the Lord spoke to me that I should publish it 
for the member of the church to know the church the member of churches to know that there are and the public people to know that there are not the calling that the lord called them they have deviated that is why the lord directed to publish it and i want to use this opportunity and say to god be the glory for what he has been doing the bible say i'll use the flu steel to put the wise to shame that is what the lord is doing to god be the glory amen we go back again to uh brother sambo brother sambo why do you think that god has to send angel michael to deliver you is it not a fabrication of falsehood calculated to promote the holiness revival movement Praise the Lord. It's quite unfortunate that um, some people will use their tongue to say things that dishonor the supremacy of the Almighty. Um, in the book of Matthew, the Bible said, Thou shalt be justified by the words of their mouth, and thou shalt be condemned. So, Thou shalt be justified by the words of their mouth, or thou shalt be condemned. I've told you the sequence of events that I've been following. In 2003, I got an attack, I got paralyzed. The doctors were there. Up to now, the record is in the University of Meligui teaching hospital of the paralysis. In fact, when I recovered, when the Lord healed me, and I came for follow-up, one of the consultants looked at me and said, you will surely come back. So, the records are there. Um, what happened last two months, that's in October, the kidnapped issue, uh, the circumstances that followed, or before, the manipulations that started before the journey, or before I embarked on the journey, and eventually when I was kidnapped, the evidences are there. Um, uh, the, we have police report to attest to the fact that I was kidnapped. A brother who I introduced that day, the general, was also making move. A move was also made to contact the SSS to track down the number through the service provider that's MTN because that's the number they used. So these are all evidences around. And then ultimately, what the Lord told our two sisters when they were in Lagos that even though they have said in the text message that he is dead. So come up with a promise to say he's alive. It's risky. Are you hear what I'm saying? To come up to say he is alive is very risky. Because what if actually he has died? But God confirmed his word. Now, why did God send in Jamaica to deliver me? I think God has a sense of humor. That's one. Two. Um, one of the reasons is God wanted to defend his name. Number three, God wanted to defend his glory. Number four, open your scriptures to Psalms 18. Psalms 18. Look at it in verse 16. He sent from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me for they were too strong for me they prevented me in the day of my calamity but the lord was my stay he brought me forth also into a large place he delivered me because he delighted in me the lord rewarded me according to my righteousness according to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me it's not all about brother mike sambo it's all about the plan of God. It's not all about me. It's all about the message he has given, which the world is yet to hear. It's all about protecting holiness revival movement. To 
point to you to know that God is interested in this movement. Hasn't that encouraged you? Hasn't that boosted your faith? Hasn't that made you to believe God as, as he has spoken? So, this is the reason. is to lift up the name of the Lord. To show the world that he is in this matter. And to show people that the presence of God which had been with us is here with us. And to make people to know that the God we serve is a strong and the almighty God. Another reason, another reason, another reason is to justify the message he has given me. If you say he died, if you rejected that, no, I won't take any message from the person that has died and has come back to life. What about the angelic manifestation? That an angel has to be released from heaven. Why did God say angel Michael? Because when there was a war between God and Satan in heaven, who did God use? <laughs> the Bible said, Revelation chapter 12, that angel Michael fought with his angels and sent Satan down to the earth. And there was a proclamation that said, War unto the inhabitants of the heart. You don't know what you're contending with. The Bible says war because the devil is come down with a great rod for you. So, Angel Michael is a worry angel, number one. Number two, he is known to fight the greatest force of evil, which is the devil. So, the battle is the battle between God and Satan. And God says and judge and desire that this battle, he needs to send Angel Michael to fight it himself. That's why he released him from heaven. Are you get what I'm saying? That's why. Can't you imagine that an angel will come from heaven and when even I failed, so exhausted and tired, came back and picked me and was running on earth. What was God protecting? Was it not a message to authenticate to to add spices to what He has done before to cause you to believe? These things are so that you might believe. So, that's one of the reasons. Holy Night Islamic movement have been known to, to accept revelation. Now, some people I heard, that some people said, that this is another frame of story to promote the pastor and to promote holiness revival movement. May God have mercy on you. Yeah. To open your mouth to say this, God bless you. So, this is to cause you to know that God is in this matter of revelation. It was in Calabar. The pastor has said it before. It was in Calabar when I was about to preach. As he was, pastor was about going out to the city to introduce me. Then the Injamaki just came down and said, "Quickly, open to Philippians chapter one, verse twelve, and read it to the end. Please tell the pastor." that he should read this for himself and for the congregation the Lord said the battle does not belong to you the battle is mine I am in this matter and I will defend it I am in this issue I will bring you out, out of it so God is in this business are you hear what I'm saying? are you hear what I'm saying? so to say that this thing is done some are less that we are looking for money which money? That the CDs, because CDs are produced, because books are produced, go and find out in the publishing industry how much are those books produced. Who is interested in money? The pastor who sits here has not, it's not his heart is not in money. His heart is not in money. His heart is not in money. He learned his profession as an accountant. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you don't understand. So, there is no issue of money in this matter. It is purely for the Lord. If you know the body he had, the persecution he went through, the trying and painful moment he passed through before this moment came to be, it was a sacrifice. I don't know that will be sacrificed in this place this day. That the gospel of truth and holiness and righteousness should be promoted. The Lord will raise you up in Jesus' name. that we have taken note of the reactions 
or the responses to some common reactions that need us to have this session. Thanks for watching. Remember to click the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it to be updated with Ebenezer Make Channel's video whenever available. Don't forget to comment, like, and share the video with your friends and family. Bye.